In Matthew 6, you've got these beautiful verses where Jesus calls us to seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all of these things will be added to us. What things? Well, he goes through a list of things like what you'll eat, what you'll wear, where you'll go, what you'll do, those kind of logistical worries about your well-being. Now, um, there's this a beautiful illustration called Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs that shows that humans have needs on different levels and the most foundational needs are those physical needs of, of kind of safety um, and um, food and water, those kind of survival needs, they form the bottom of this pyramid and if they're not met um, you can't engage with those higher level things and the higher level needs are the things like the need for a ra relationship, learning, affirmation, um, experience, variety, those kinds of higher level needs. So the idea is that the, the lower level needs need to be met first and what Jesus is doing is he's giving his disciples peace, he's saying be at peace, don't worry about tomorrow, what you'll eat, what you'll wear, but be present, live in the now because God can provide now, he's with you, he cares for you and then he gives these beautiful illustrations looking around Around you. He says, you know, consider the lilies of the field, how beautifully they're adorned. Even Solomon with all his riches was not adorned as one of these. Or look at the birds of the air, they don't reap or gather in barns, yet your father cares for them and you're worth far more than even the, the sparrows of the air, you, you have so much value and your father cares for you and he provides for them, he'll provide for you. So he's, he's kind of drawing us into this place of being present. Um, now, um, the challenge here is one of preoccupation. Um, don't be preoccupied with these things. Don't be preoccupied with what you'll eat, what you'll wear. It's nothing wrong with thinking about what you're going to wear. In fact, um, I think we, we do this a lot. Sometimes people enjoy thinking about clothing because it's a hobby or a talent or, or they just love the creativity. They don't, they don't dress to hide themselves, they dress to celebrate and express and communicate um, and that's great. There's nothing innately sinful about um, enjoying clothing, enjoying fashion, celebrating clothes. We don't want to be falsely ascetic about it. It's about preoccupation. How much of your time, how much of your energy, how much of your strength, how much of your focus is taken up on um, thinking about these needs, thinking about clothes, thinking about food. The bigger temptation for me, if I'm honest, is food. I love to plan my meals ahead. I spend a lot of time thinking about them. Um, so there's a danger for me that I can become preoccupied with my next meal plan, what food I'm gonna eat, where I'm gonna get it. I love my food. Um, and there's nothing wrong with loving food. Food is a beautiful gift from a beautiful God that we can enjoy and partake in and, and celebrate. Um, but it's about preoccupation. Don't let these things rob you of your present. Um, I remember a, a wonderful um, line um, as my, my wife was sharing with me. Um, so um, it's talking about um, C.S. Lewis um, and how he talks about how Satan is constantly trying to get us to either live in the past or live in the future, but never in the present, because the present is a thing that really exists. The present is a thing that's now. Your, your future doesn't yet exist. The past is gone. There's nothing you can do to change it, no matter how hard you try. Um, but living in the present, that's where you have power, that's where God's with you. Um, living in the present is a, the moment God wants you to live in, that's a moment he's given you to, to make choices and change your future. Um, so um, the challenge here, and I think this kind of ties in beautifully with Matthew 6, is to be present, to live in the present, to embrace the present, to enjoy the present, and not to worry about those foundational needs. God knows we need those things, he's capable of providing. Um, so all we need to do is trust in him him, relax, give him space to work in our lives and just enjoy the present. Um, so I think this verse is about balance, it's not an absolute rule, it's not saying, it's not saying don't think about clothes or food ever, it's just saying bring these things into perspective, bring these things um, in, into a kind of right area of your life, have a right relationship with food, have a right relationship with clothing um, and um, just trust in God, trust his provision, don't let those things come between you and the will of God, fulfilling his calls and his plans in your life. God bless you. Have an amazing day. I will see you tomorrow. Take care and bye for now.